remember that the Express has been invited as a guest. And that we must adhere to any and all regulations. Got it. When in Rome, as they say. <laughs> Don't worry, Conductor. We definitely won't embarrass the nameless. Rome? According to the passenger list, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legwork, and Rosalina, the Express's guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available, considering the Nameless's diversity. Perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. Or, against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. The train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three... Not another one. <laughs> I'm not there. Turn back. After you. Am I supposed to walk up the wall? How is this even possible? Why not? She can hear the thoughts in my head? <laughs> Why not? We're almost there. Can you still walk? <sighs> you're funny. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. How do you intend to pull them off the stage? All we have to do is present the truth. And they will naturally reciprocate. Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear Gambler. <sighs> Three chips are enough. All or nothing. The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? Memo Keeper, do you think you can just leave? I'm sorry. The dance partner of my choice, I've already chosen. You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, she stood shoulder to shoulder with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close, yet forever out of reach. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and... Many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds, then? If there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? Hearing, touch, thought, through these you gain emotions. Cherish them. 
With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? Nani? How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. What you must do now is ponder its significance. And then, you can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for her. Going forward on this Panicone trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. Oh, speak of the devil, look who's here. It's Sunday, the most handsome man in Panicone. Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. He said you were the most dashing person in Pentacony. How interesting. Hello, friend. How have you been? I sincerely hope you don't mind. My apologies for any perceived slight. To show my sincerity, I offer you 10,000 credits as a gesture of goodwill. How upright. I like you. I must have you as a friend. Here, 20,000 credits. Please excuse me, I have some matters to attend to, so I must depart, but I'm sure we'll meet again soon. Oh, it's just one surprise after another, but since that Mr... Which day was he? Sunday. Since Mr. Sunday's vouched for us, I guess we can finally check in normally? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly... unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the Express made its warp jump. Also, the Express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. A distress call method regularly used by the nameless. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penacone, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? Here I was thinking of some good old relaxation, but nope. This event is a wild ride. The various factions deciphering the riddle, a power struggle of past legacies. It feels like we're in a live action detective saga. Who knows? Maybe we'll even witness classic scenarios like family feuds, tragic losses, worlds torn apart, espionage situations, rivers running red with blood! Stuff like that! This is simply too thrilling! <laughs> A 
Just kidding. How could that be possible? How fortuitous. <laughs> we meet again. <laughs> That's right, pal. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. Of course. What, you thought the family acted simply out of their own goodwill? <laughs> Think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place, if you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. Miss Stellaron, have I hit the nail on the head? <laughs> I know now. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. Friend, the game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. <sighs> No other choice. Hello there. Huh? What are you doing in my room? Your room? This place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like, keeping your door closed. Why haven't you left? This is my room. Have I come to the wrong room? Before I said anything, I even made sure that I had the right room number. Do I have the wrong wing or even the wrong lock? I'm sorry, this hotel is huge and the hallways all look the same. It's easy to get lost in here. But before I go, can I ask you a question? You may think it somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. But I wish to know, have we met somewhere before? Is that so? I haven't been able to shake off this familiar feeling since just now. Maybe this is what they call deja vu. <laughs> or it could purely be serendipity. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All these hallways really look the same to me. Imagine a dreamland. <laughs> What is it, Ratio? Why the long face? Hey, I just realized. Where's that handsome bust of yours? You're late. By four minutes and 16 seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. Clamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and... Your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. <laughs> it seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. 
The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Where are you going? Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. <laughs> it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sigonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber Lord? Eh? It's my job. How would a gambler wrest Penacone back from the IPC otherwise? <laughs> Don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. More to play devil's advocate, perhaps Panacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. What's your plan? <laughs> well, no need to expand on that now. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sigonian upbringing? Mm, so you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. The whole conversation felt off. Help me look into her. Huh? Huh? You remember me? I'm so glad. <sighs> <sighs>
sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. Existence is unity. Show no mercy. You won't get away. That's enough, boys. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. <laughs> You're welcome. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. You're such a hoot, buddy. This is Penacone. Of course you're in a dream. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Sempo. <clears throat> Here's the items you asked for. Uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. <laughs> Gonna have to pay the price. Punishing boss. Punishing boss. Punish Punish boss. boss. <sighs> How did it come to this? Ready? Go! Trouble we caused. Clocky. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here, but according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. It seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. Shortly after we parted ways, I wandered into a ball without realizing it. A lady wearing a black veil invited me to dance. <laughs> it was my first dance, and it was an unforgettable experience. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your... date? No, we're not on a date. <laughs> Ugh, spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. My eyes might not be as pretty as yours, but there's no problem with my vision. I say you belong to the space under the manhole cover, not in a dream. There's one right over there. Off you go. Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. How did you do it, little peacock? Did you strip yourself naked, apologize to him on your knees, and promise that the IPC would never harm Panacone? Listen, little peacock. You've been invited by the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Here's a hint for you. Since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really am a stowaway. I can forget about all the doctor's advice. 
I can listen and see and touch and think and understand whatever I want with my body. So although this world isn't real, this experience is priceless. Say cheese! Even so, you are lagging far behind the main party. Have you not noticed yet what the family is hiding? The secret behind this sweet dream? <sighs> um, excuse me. Why don't you rest, rest for a little while? Inside the real dreamscape. sight that can only be witnessed in a dream. These uh, words have been appearing and then vanishing persistently for a while now. Whose thoughts are they? And who is this Mikhail? <sighs> 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 If you don't know the right technique, you might never return from the shadow of death, emerging without a scratch. See you next time. Hurry. You're awake, lazy bug. Looks like you had a nice dream. Ahem, can you hear me? Astral Express, it's been a while. How's Penitoni? This message is a threat. The hidden map that Silverwolf mentioned is probably the sealed Dreamscape Hotel. For the sake of what's to come, a visit seems necessary. This way, darling. Huh? What are you doing here? Well, not really. I just don't know where I am. It's a long story. I fortuitously, as she should remember, became friends with some of the Bloodhounds and was helping them track down a wanted criminal. Except I ended up here for some reason. <sighs> this room. Why is it upside down? The memory zone is constantly shifting its form. Looks like we'll have to think of a way to walk on the ceiling. We're standing on the ceiling right now. Miss Acheron's words speak sense. Regardless, we have to reach that flat surface hanging overhead. And we're not scaling the pillar, of course. Look at me. Calm down. Deep breaths. All right? Allow me. Relax. You'll be fine. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. Do not alert the meme. Careful. Jealousy Ranger and a memo keeper. Leave now and nobody gets hurt.
The detective game is over. You shouldn't be here. Once you're back in the real world, remember to tell everyone about the Stellaron Hunter who was behind your ultimate departure. Execution on your way. Leave the damn stage to them, my dear. <laughs> what a show. <laughs> Looks like our nameless friend over here is still confused. Let me explain. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron isn't as simple as you thought. Did she say she's a galaxy ranger? She's actually an emanator who brings death and finality. Nani? This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion and viewed Nanook as their savior. <laughs> In actuality, they were led by this Duke to go around burning and looting practicing the will of destruction. There's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Because Ifrit is dead. Nani? They were eliminated on their way. The assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Penacony, checking into the hotel with only a music box. Oh, right. I remember mentioning something after that. What was it again? Oh, I remember. My friend. After that, we played an enjoyable game. Tell me, doesn't this feel eerily familiar? I remember everything now. This was what I told you at that time. Look, friend. The game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choices. Brother, you seem to be in low spirit. What's happened? Is it because of the Watchmaker's guest list? Yes. I received the report that... Death had taken some of them. Perhaps someone was behind it. I can't believe this has happened. Was... Someone killed a Ken? Yes. There were two. One was a stowaway, uh, the other was you. That's enough, fool. Your deeds have saddened me. Pretty sharp, aren't you, chicken wing boy? The Malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze, and will soon fall by their own machinations. Should the transgressor fail to turn away from this path, their sword will be honed, their bows strung, causing the malevolence the perpetrator spreads to befall them. And when that time comes, the heathen will realize they are but a mere mortal, doomed to descend into the netherworld. And I... <sighs> I will join their vanguard to announce this good news to you personally. Watchmaker. <laughs>